As we come to an end of this year 2020, I've been reflecting on God's faithfulness and my journey in faith as well. I'm Annalise Keir. I am a parishioner at All Saints Anglican Church in Huntsville, Ontario, and I've scripted my reflection. For me, God's faithfulness to us is found in scripture, hymns, narrative, and elderly Christians. In scripture, we are first promised faithfulness from God as a step towards personal belief, salvation, and commitment. In 1 John chapter 1, if we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. One of my favorite hymns, Great is Thy Faithfulness by Chisholm and Runyon, reminds me that through every season and experience of the cosmos as his creation, God is faithful in his presence, his forgiveness, his strength, his love, and our hope. The scriptural reference for that hymn is from Lamentations. And it says, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases, his mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, and great is your faithfulness. As a nine-year-old, my mother did not have a lot of time to spend with my eight-year-old brother and me, because she nursed our bedridden grandmother for seven years in our shared home. So when we did spend extra time with her, it was memorable. My mother read to us a children's version of Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan, a 17th century English allegory about a Christian journey to personal salvation at the foot of the cross and living life forward. This was my introduction to the book's character, Faithful. He was a constant companion, guide, and example to the protagonist, Christian, on his new journey in belief and practice. The fact that Bunyan, a Puritan, started writing his allegory while a prisoner for preaching as a nonconformist under Charles II after their civil war was an idea which I eventually found similar to St. Paul writing his letters to early Christian churches while jailed. A profound influence during my childhood and then again in my middle-aged years were elderly Christians who crossed my path. From 13 years of age, Faithful elderly Christians have demonstrated to me their faithfulness and love of Christ across decades of life, across wars, pandemics, deprivation, and other life experiences that I can only imagine. The biblical fruits of the Spirit abounded in their presence as they exemplified and testified to their faith, hope, and belief they guided with gentleness, conviction, and a love for children and youth. In a number of circumstances, I have been privileged to witness the life and death of elderly people. Some who have identified their Christian belief, and some where their faith is unidentified for me, either by themselves or family. There can be a difference in how they meet their transition from this earth. Those who live in hope and appear to understand that God is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. To quote one elderly woman days before her passing, she said to me, Well, I suppose as God has been with me here, he will be with me wherever I go. There is so very much to learn from elderly people, both in living well with Christ and those living in a cold shadow determined to be absent from him. Only God knows the hearts of these folks. But they teach me about living, love, relationship, dying, and a legacy to future generations. I particularly like our Anglican Prayers of the People liturgies, which pause to remember saints recognized and lesser-known saints, who have passed on their witness to the faithfulness of God in Christ, revealed through the Holy Spirit. We will need a time of national mourning after this horrific pandemic, 
for all those who have died. May we give particular thanks to the elderly people who have left us their legacy of witness to God's faithfulness in this life and a hope in God's recreation in the next. May God bless you and keep you safe in his love and his care.